Here's the diagram of that 112 Philco radio. Today I'm going to be working on the power supply. I'm going to be replacing the electrolytic capacitors. And if you take a look at this, you'll see a coil. And on both sides of the coil are two capacitors that go down to the center tap of the power transformer, the secondary. Those are the electrolytic capacitors. And this is a view of underneath the radio. And here are those electrolytic capacitors. Now I'm not going to be taking these out because I don't want to leave two holes in the chassis. The idea is to replace these so it basically looks like I didn't do anything to it. Now here are those capacitors in the chassis. A little bit closer look. And as I stared at this for a while I finally noticed that in the center of the capacitors they had a positive mark. And the ground for both of those capacitors is right here and it's marked with a negative. Now this negative is not a chassis ground. The negative goes to a resistor and then the resistor goes to ground. So this is what it really looks like in the radio. And here I have disconnected both the positive leads and connected them to a terminal and the negative lead and that wire goes to a resistor and I'm going to put a terminal on that also so I can isolate the negative part of those electrolytic capacitors. Here I have installed the two electrolytic capacitors. The originals are six microfarads each. They're both six microfarads, but I don't have that. I've got 10 microfarads, so I'm going to use that at 450 volts. So I've got the two positive leads on the terminal up front, or at the lower left, and the other side of the capacitors goes to the wire that goes to the resistor that goes to ground. Here's the diagram again. And what I want to look at is a closer look at the power supply. Mainly the center tap that uh, takes the negative side of those electrolytic capacitors and then goes through a resistor to ground. But notice that there are two taps off of that resistor. And what we're going to do is take a look at what that is supplying to this radio. Here's an overall look at the diagram again and the two leads. Let's take a look at the left one. That goes up into the audio circuit. It is supplying the negative bias to the 47 tubes and the 27 tube. Now the right lead coming off of that resistor, if you follow along, that lead supplies the negative bias for all the rest of the tubes. Thanks for watching.